my favorite succulents is this dainty little sedum, sedum dasypylum major. I love the cabbage-like look on the tips of the rosettes, the way that they look like little corn cobs. It's a wonderful filler plant for containers. And sedum dasypylum lilac mound. Look how tiny. Sedums are famous as rock garden plants. In fact, the common name for sedum is stone crop. Sedum blue spruce in bloom, and they're growing in a stacked stone wall made of repurposed concrete. Now, these are not monocarpic, so no worries. They're not going to die after they bloom. Sedum angelina grows pretty well down in Southern California. I saw it at the Iowa Arboretum, vibrant and growing in late winter. Like many succulents, the more sun it gets, the more of the sunset colors come out in it, and the more shade, the more green it turns. So here we are in Missouri, where you'd think no succulent would grow, but sedums do. This is a trailing sedum growing as a green roof on a chicken coop. And it found him in Pennsylvania, planted with sedum sarmentosum. Of course, if you're going to do something like this, you have to make sure good drainage. This is by Becky Sell of Sedum Chicks from Oregon, repurposing metal and wood to create these natural, highly textural containers that can be hung on the wall. And she's planting sedums and sempervivums in moss. Sedum it will go dormant. If the roots are healthy, it will recover and will come back in the spring. And this is Sedum telephium growing in Highline Park in New York City. Those blooms will fade. They'll, be, they'll get a little bit more bronzy and the plant will die back. But it's not dead. Don't dig it up. Don't throw it away. It'll come back in the spring. One of the hybridizers, Chris Hansen, has the Sun Sparkler Sedums and he's created this hypertufa trough includes angelina sempervivum oddity but this is one of his introductions this is sedum lime twister sedum coral carpet look at those marvelous little tiny leaves you can cross sedum with oristachys a little known genus and get what chris is calling sidoro Sedum plus Oristachys, and he's called this one Blue Elf. Now, Oristachys are a, a succulent that are very hardy and that you can grow. Oristachys offsets and has a hens and chicks growing habit. This one's just coming into bloom. Common name for Oristachys is Chinese dunce caps. Conical spires signal the death knell of the rosette. So, grow Oristachys, enjoy them consider them as annuals. This is yucca rostrata at the Denver Botanic Garden. There are many hardy yuccas. Now yuccas are native to the Americas and they're very adaptable. What's succulent about yuccas is that they store water in their trunks. Are you familiar with Hillside Desert Botanical Gardens in Yakima, Washington? That's a yucca in the background. One of your Pacific Northwest natives, Louisia, named after explorer Meriwether Lewis, and a lovely cactus. And I, I know you're thinking, oh, I'll never have cactus in my garden, but you'd be surprised at how popular cactus is getting. I like to photograph cactus more than any other plant because I love the way they look backlit. So if you're interested in cactus, go to my website, read my article, Cactus is the New Black. Delasperma cooperi at Chanticleer Garden. Uh, like most ice plants, it's mounded with beautiful, searing, neon bright flowers in spring. Delasperma is one of the most hardy genera of ice plants, and it only asks for superb drainage. Agaves are native to the Americas, and there are numerous frost hardy at least down to the 20s and this one is a hybrid agave back wrap that goes all the way down to zero degrees Fahrenheit. They're fibrous leaves but if you were to press the leaves with your fingertips 
you find that they do have a certain fleshy quality to them is that the outer leaf was pressed against the inner leaf and then it opened up leaving behind what are called bud imprints which inspired the hybridizer to call it Baccarat because it reminded him of a cut crystal. Designer Todd Holloway has combined agave Baccarat in a uh, summer composition for poolside with an Echeveria here in bloom and repeating the red of the Echeveria, this uh, Crassula campfire, which would redden more if it had more sun. Sweet little sedum, lilac mound again, and pork and beans. A trailing sedum here, some crassula here. Now those crassulas aren't going to make it through the winter, but you know it's a seasonal composition and some of the plants will make it, some won't, and it'll need to be redone for the next year. But isn't that true of all of your potted plants? You would enjoy this when you're outside enjoying the warm weather and the pool. You'd overwinter it and freshen it in the spring. Handout sheet for this presentation. Go to DeborahLeeBaldwin.com and then there's a pull down menu under succulent info and that'll take you to regional. And under regional, you want to go to northern climate. And if you have any questions, you're welcome to email me, dlb at deborahleebaldwin.com.